disappointing for us. But um, you know, sometimes you just got to you got to put that behind and work with the players that you got and build them and you know, have the confidence going into the into the next game. So, you know, it's one of those things you get. You know, I mean, you know, players are wanting to wanting to play and unfortunately they sometimes pick up injuries. And you know, we look back to um, the second test in South Africa last year. I mean, both both those players you know weren't involved in that game. So um, you know, hopefully. Um, Liam Williams just taking a full part in, in training next week and um, and potentially in the next 24, 48 hours, you know, we'll have to, when we get the results back, you know, we may have to sit down and start thinking about replacements. But until then, you know, we're talking about the possibilities now, but we haven't, uh, there's nothing concrete in our heads about that. I mean, I'm going to be very optimistic and hope that, you know, if it was like a ligament grade one, grade two, which, you know, sometimes these things feel worse and you can rehab those and get back within three weeks. So, you know, I'm going to be optimistic until I hear otherwise um, for both the lads. But I mean, you do really worry for them when you see them down in a bit of pain on the pitch, and that you know that does sort of you know disrupt the players a little bit because you hope the best. Sometimes they your mates at the end of the day, and you really hope they're okay. Um, but yeah, I mean it's, it'll be gutting for those who if they were ruled out because they put in so much effort. You know, both looking in fantastic shape, and you know they are. You know, there's no we're getting around. They're two huge players for us.